or five. See, there's four of them there now, and this would make five. It would be an additional number. Because it's the resolve part, and that's what Humber I want. I, you know, the, the, if you look at line 35, on page four, four, on page four. Page four. This is about saying the plant PDS department sh should make sure that these following things do not get hindered. And now you're putting the the oh. January 15 in there. That's not the right place, even if you want to put okay. it in. I got another. I got another okay. way to do it. <laughs> okay. Mrs. Brenner. A new one. Be it finally resolved. How's that? That would take care of it. Be it finally resolved that um, the ordinance proposed on January 15th will be withdrawn from being sent to the Planning Commission. Oh. A point of procedure here. It was not an ordinance. It was not an ordinance. That We didn't send an oh, ordinance. Uh, the January 15th one was a proposed ordinance, wasn't it? No. Oh. It was just proposed. That was a resolution, too? No. It was, was it was, it, it was a draft. Okay, sorry. A draft proposal wasn't. Was the draft an ordinance or a resolution? It was, okay. it was draft language. It was not a resolution. But I said draft ordinance if it's an ordinance. Or draft resolution if it's a resolution. I thought it was draft ordinance. That's an ordinance. That's not a resolution. Okay. So I stand corrected. Okay. So, so that. So that is is the clerk clear on the motion? Yes. Discussion, Mr. Sadu. Yeah. Hmm? Could you read it back? Now, therefore, be it finally resolved that the draft ordinance proposed on January 15th is withdrawn from being sent to the Planning Commission. Okay, I have a question about that. It was not an ordinance in itself. It was the, you know, like when we were writing the comp plan amendments, we were going through and doing wordsmithing on the comp plan different items which were already existed in the comp plan. And on January 15, there was an alternate wording. We had done some wording on uh, October 8. And then on January 15, what it was is the alternate wording for those things. It, you know, like it should be rewritten in this way. And it was actually, you know, uh, what do you call it, um, track changes. So, it, it the whole purpose, let me complete, let me complete. The whole purpose of getting advice from Cascadia Law is that if we propose this new wording, means new wordsmithing, is it admissible or is it proper or are we doing it wrong? It just defeats the whole purpose of doing this whole thing. You gotta think through that we were doing wordsmithing and then somebody else did more wordsmithing. And we are disputing that, that we didn't like the wordsmithing. That's all we are talking about. There was no separate resolution to send. It was the, in light of the same resolution. Now we were seeking an advice that the second part of track changes, is it acceptable? Or what are the flaws in that so that we don't proceed with those changes? That's how I perceive it. Mr. Donald. I, Mr. Sidhu said most of what I was gonna say, but yeah, the, the, we, we came up, we got as far as January 15th, there were concerns that that needed further review. Whether I thought through the Planning Commission was staff, this is taking it a step farther and having legal review of that before it goes to the Planning Commission. If we say that thing is gone, then the, What's the point? So. I, I have another question because sorry, I sorry. think it will help uh, clarifying this. Okay, but Ms. Brenner, you, Ms. Brenner was next. If you let oh. I'm sorry, we're not taking public testimony for any further. Thank you. Ms. Ms. Brenner, you were next. 
Okay. Um, you're right. Everybody's right about what it is. It's still called a draft ordinance proposal. That's what it's called. Okay. It's the January 15th draft ordinance amendment proposal. And it's major. It's not just a little tweaking no, here and there. No, it's not. It major. It's major. And I don't know if this Unless you guys are not really... I don't know if this will make a difference, but the title on the agenda for the special committee of the whole meeting on January 15th was discussion regarding preliminary draft comprehensive plan and zoning code amendments for Cherry Point. I don't know exactly what it was that you sent forward to the planning commission, but it would not have been in the form of an ordinance. Okay. The January 15th proposed draft comprehensive plan et cetera, language. There was, it was major. It wasn't just tweaking. It was major stuff. And I think that that, that was the beginning of getting people really concerned. People had their concerns on both sides before that, but that was pretty, whether you like it or you don't like it, it was a pretty dramatic change from what we had. So just a second. So if you wish to speak, we're going to have an open public session after we've dealt with this That's issue. That's exactly what my comment is. Is this going to keep on until there is no public comments allowed? Oh, because please. this whole resolution, when you're talking about the possible extinction of the whole human species, which is what is okay. happening, so, is, so, is... So I'm not, I'm not going to entertain public comment at this point. There will be a public comment period after this? As long as there's time, I'm good. Okay, thank you. I'll withdraw, Mr. Schroeder, I'll Mr. withdraw Schroeder. the whole thing. Okay. He's right. Yeah. We shouldn't have waited so long for open All session. Right. Mr. Schroeder, did you have a comment? I, I just had uh, Tyler Schroeder, Deputy Executive. One point to uh, Council Member Brenner's uh, suggestion here. On page two of the resolution, mm -hmm. at the top on, on line two through three, it refers to uh, preliminary draft containing proposed changes to the county comprehensive plan and county code. Yep. And then on line eight, it refers to the January 15th, 2019 proposal. Right. So this resolution does refer specifically to that. And those could be terms that council could uh, make an action if they wanted to, if, if you so choose uh, to withdraw that January 15th proposal from consideration. Okay. But she's, she, Ms. Brent has already withdrawn the motion, so. Well, what he, what he said is my exact motion. <laughs> that works. Okay, so you're now making an amended motion? I'm making another motion, different. You and state, I'm sorry, this will be it. I won't Ms. Brennan, would you state your motion, please? Removal of all parts of the January 15th proposal. <clears throat> That's the be it finally resolved. <clears throat> be, it, be it finally resolved that all parts of the January 15th proposal be removed from being sent to the Planning Commission. Okay. Do I have a second from Ms. Brenner's motion? Yes. Along the lines, could we do something along the lines where it's, it's more, go back to the original one, be it finally resolved that okay. this resolution will replace the January 15th resolution or replaces the January 15th resolution? January 15th wasn't a resolution. Oh, the January 15th. Uh, document sent to where we're, we're just saying we're, this is replacing that essentially well, except that because it, removing it from here doesn't mean that it still isn't being sent well it is if we don't remove all the all the um references to it no then it's still there they still have it unless we specifically say hey we, that's what this i'm is specifically saying i don't okay. want it i don't want them considering that at this point yeah. So you see, you're suggesting that this document be the guiding document for the process or what? Yeah, we, that was uh, kind of my interpretation of it, uh, based on the limited time I've had to review it, um, was that this was going to be replacing that document as direction to staff. Um, but it includes it in this document. As a reference point, which I think it would have to if we're replacing it, because you have to say what you're replacing. but. Uh, Mr. Sidhu. You know, uh, 
Never mind. Whole... I'm withdrawing everything. <coughs> okay. Forget it. All right. So Ms. Brennan's. Whole... Withdra... I would have done it. <laughs> so, just a second, Mr. Sadu. Ms. Brennan has withdrawn her motion. Yeah. So, if you wish to okay. speak. Okay. If she's withdrawing, yeah. I will stop. Okay. <laughs> Further discussion on the main motion to accept this as amended. Mr. Bird. So for clarity, this does not replace that document as it stands. It will go with that document. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. This is a request to have that document be subject to legal review before it yes. goes to the Planning Commission. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry you, I, you laugh I, about it like we had a whole bunch of time to sit here and no, read this. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, just so we which I, I guess afternoon. we'll bring up my actual testimony on or comment on this and this entire process. Um, just for reference here, one, we've been here since 9 a.m. The uh, so it's been a long day, and it, two, this entire process since the beginning of the year or even the end of the last year has been flawed in my opinion. And what I mean by that is I think the best way to describe it is just to recap real quickly what that process has been. October 9th, we reviewed the preliminary draft updates and went over them. And we left those updates on October 9th to finish out the year and year end items as well as the two year budgeting process that we had to go through. During, right after that, we had public testimony from industries that came forward to talk about that draft and their input on it and answer questions that we had given them. Before we had an opportunity to talk amongst each other about that input and address how it may affect this document, we went on winter break in which our council office is closed for essentially four to six weeks. That's through the Christmas season. The weekend of Christmas break, we get sent a new document with new changes. While we're all on break, out of the office, with our families for Christmas. And we're expected to somehow know that this is in our email because, you know, we all work on Christmas when we're hanging out with our children, right? And have time to review this. It shows up on the very first meeting of the year. Now, if you look at the resolution that was put forward today, What's standard format about this resolution is it says proposed by Brown, Donovan, and Sadu. It tells you who put it in the packet. Everything that we get shows who put it in the packet. The item that came to us on January 15th packet didn't tell us where it came from. Matter of fact, it didn't even have a unique label. What it did say and still says up at the top is preliminary draft from October 9th, suggesting that it was the document we left on October 9th, the exact same document we saw at that point in time. When that came up in our council meeting two weeks ago, did we have an opportunity to discuss it? Absolutely not. Instead, what happened was it was forced through without anybody reading it except for one council member who wrote it in private amongst two or three other individuals who are unelected and decided on this. But, you know, what we were told was that they were minor changes. The hard part about it was usually when we track changes and we review changes as a council, we track everything. Matter of fact, we track it all in different colors based on the version. So we know exactly what every single version change was. The document we got didn't show any of those versions. It is so different and lacks so much information that when it was sent back to our staff, and we asked them to combine it with the original document, they were unable to. They can't match it to the original document because we didn't track the changes to do so. Now, that was two weeks ago. Since then, what we've been told is, hey, this is a lot more damaging than what we thought it would be. Now, as council members, I don't know how we would know that because we didn't discuss it in public. Instead, what we got an hour and a half, two hours before this meeting was an entirely new version. And if you go back to the exact same committee meeting that we had right before this, you'll hear suggestions that the reason that we got this one was because there were such grave concerns about what was in this document that nobody read, that all of a sudden that without any notice, without putting it on the agenda on Thursday with everything else that the public got, we had to force this through today in order to stop our staff from being able to move forward with this document that nobody read on the 15th. And somehow, this is funny, and we're laughing about it because, you know, we should have all really been talking about this today 
what was on the agenda, in reality, something brand new showed up on the agenda again. To me, I, I, I'm a little tired, I'm a little flabbergasted at the whole thought that this is public process and public transparency. The one thing I heard from everyone that come up here tonight was pretty even on both sides. They said over and over again, take your time. Both sides said, take your time. Don't rush it. Do it right. We care about the environment. We care about the jobs. Take your time. Do it right. Is this taking your time? Is this doing it right? I don't think it is. So I'm not going to vote for it. I appreciate that it changes some of the things potentially on the 15th. But at the end of the day, the process is not right. And I would argue or I would beg anyone up here to argue that somehow that this is a good process that gives tr public transparency and public input and asks these people to trust us and put their faith in our ability to do what's right. Or better yet, put their faith in our ability to give them better public process in the future knowing that what we've given them up to this point in time. I'm done. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. If, if, if you, the rules are, if, if yeah, you wouldn't there's want no pause. Doing So that, sir, sir, please respect the rules of the council.